Sega. Spotted. Moving into position. Neutralizing. Oh, hi everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight. Uh, <clears throat> okay, now. 
brain farts. I, I think I did it the usual way, but anyways, along with... Hey, sir, my Lieutenant Rick here at your service. Uh, and welcome back to Dawn of War 2. Not Chaos Rising, still the base game, but we are getting close to the end of the game. Possibly finishing in this... In this stream. And yeah, if, if we... And, yeah, if we end up going short with the game, which I'm not really expecting, uh, we will call it there, so we can keep the well the base game and the Chaos Rising videos and streams separate from each other. Uh, yeah. And also, <clears throat> welcome Himesama Shiro. Yeah, Himesama Shiro, thank you for the follow. Um, I was... Mm, I, I, <laughs> I know someone recommended them, someone who we rated at one point, so I'd basically been well, semi-lurking on their channel, waiting for them to start a stream, but since I didn't follow yet, because I typically save that until after I've seen someone stream it once or twice, uh, I never <laughs> I never managed to catch them. Though they, they don't re stream too regularly, so eventually I just... <laughs> today I just thought, yeah, fuck it, they came, came recommended, I'll give them a follow, and yeah, if they end up not my kind of thing, nothing lost. But yeah, thank you for the follow back, <laughs> uh, though it's not expected, it is appreciated. <laughs> uh, okay, but yeah, just for a bit of clarification, I, I do not like the follow for follow or sub for sub stuff that some people try to... Uh, "Quote unquote," advertise. I just find that, uh, yeah, not of any interest. Yeah, I'm, I'm neutral to it. Depending on how do they like to say, if they say, if you like this video, do follow and leave a like. If you like the video, yeah. if you want, like they, they don't come out as forcefully. I find more annoying when they say, "We." 90% of our viewers are subscribed. That fall I feel a bit more annoying, but that feels like more like they try to guilt trip you. Yeah. But what I, what I more meant was those kind of people who will... Uh, you had this a lot during... I, I think it might still be a thing with YouTube, that there's some certain channels who are just trying to claw themselves up into popularity by wanting you know, by just following random channels and expecting to be followed back it's not it's not a tit for tat thing but yeah now uh, last I time okay. uh last time we completed all three of the branches of the main story that we could do so now we have to well we have to hold the sector. We now have all the components necessary to mount a major strike at the High Fleet invading the sector. We have transmitted designs for new weapons to Angel Forge on Meridian, and they are beginning production. And our librarians have identified the massive Hive ship which serves as the brain of the entire Hive Fleet. We finally have the means to deliver a killing blow to the Hive Fleet itself. The Litany of Fury will arrive in system in a matter of days. We will then equip our new weapons and mount an attack on the Hive ship that guides the entire Hive fleet. Not all news is good, however. Our surviving librarians say the Hive mind has become aware of our approach. It is likely to throw its most potent forces at key locations across the subsector. It remains to you to hold the sector until we arrive. Okay. Hello there in chats, uh, Megumi. Uh, M Megumi. Well, yeah. 14.6. Uh, let's see, how are you? Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, finally Hello. managed to wrangle yeah. my sleep schedule into something assembling, resembling normalcy. Uh, yeah, how are you doing Wait, yourself? Really? Yeah, I woke up at like 7 instead of, well, 2 in the afternoon today. <laughs> okay. But, I'm surprised yeah. and proud of you. <laughs> okay, now we just have to, well survive for two days so we have these optional well we have these defense missions which are optional but well since the they are lost permanently if we don't defend them we uh yeah we kind of want to go do those and oh, let's see this yes. is oh, yeah. not, um, welcome to me i'm drakir the co-host strike at vulnerable targets <laughs> 
A powerful Tyranid warrior has led its brood into shelters and other areas previously thought safe. The consequences on morale have been disastrous. Worse still, this outbreak, if not stamped out quickly, could destabilize the entire region. Eliminate this beast quickly to keep our holdings secure and drive the swarm back. Okay, this is an optional mission, but not a timed one, so we can leave that be for the moment. So, yeah, let's just go back to Calderas and head back over here so we can go do that defense mission. Now, I last stream, I thought that all of the... I thought all of the commander unit uh, commander items become unusable with uh, when the force commander is wearing terminator armor but i think they should still be able to use a form of teleporter i don't think the standard one will work though and it was red i believe when we well, donated it, donated it to the librarian so yeah we'll just have to see if we get terminated teleporters at some point or not otherwise well <laughs> Wouldn't it likely fit anyways. No. God, that's a hammer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, seems like the Eldar are still mucking about. It is a defense mission, so... Yeah, I think this will do. I still want... I, I still just want to show off the freaking Dreadnought as much as possible. And well, since we finally got him his freaking assault cannon, we can finally show off what happens with that. Eldar scouts near our communications array. They must be preparing an attack on the array itself. If the Eldar destroy the generators powering the array, we will lose a valuable source of intelligence. This could leave the Eldar free to further direct the orcs or undertake other sabotage. Repel this attack, Commander. Let's see. Numerous howling banshees are part of the war host, and weapon platforms can do heavy damage to generators. Okay, and we get Tarantula turrets, so we'll definitely <laughs> deploy those as well. Okay. Use them if you got them. Short-range weapons like shotguns and flamers are best used aggressively. Use cover or special abilities to get within range and let the enemy have it. Okay. Stay alert. The Eldar strike without warning. The Eldar want the array for themselves, Commander. The generators will be their primary targets. Let's see. Probably would have been better if I'd, <laughs> if I'd removed Avatus's rocket launcher for this, but we still have two Devastators with uh, heavy bolters. Okay, they can come from only two areas. Now, Thule! Show off that big gun you've got there. Oh. Actually, might as well show off the ability that comes with it. And since they're lining up quite well... <laughs> yep, he just completely hoses down an area. Holy! Okay. Just... I don't think it's close okay. enough to get burned. <laughs> yep. Okay, you go mess with that. Tarkus is take ooh. Tarkus is taking heavy damage. Same for Avatus. Okay, we must be dealing with heavy or anti uh, heavy infantry then. Okay, yeah, another row on fire over there. Yeah, the force commander can play the tank. How are you self me? Okay. How should we ask uh, them that? Uh, I, I think I did. If I didn't, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, you two back to the front. Gotta keep an eye on this place because they could sneak around us. So we shouldn't move too far forwards. Okay. But yeah, giving him an auto cannon. I keep calling it auto cannon. They're assault cannons. Giving them a giving the dreadnought a gun. Better said. Yeah, it does make up a bit for how they are pretty slow with moving around, since they can attack from range. Yeah, and now in this case, they can attack from range and melee. Yep. Now they're coming from this way. Okay. You stay a little bit behind so you don't go stomping through all of the cover. I 
Hello, pizza lover. <laughs> hey, pizza, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing well. How about yourself, pizza? <laughs> Steadfast plating, I'll take that. Yeah, how, how are you doing, pizza? And a relic chain sword. It's probably going to just get donated, but still. Okay, Tarkas move up and throw a grenade there. Let's see, uh, Wish Witcher was doing good, but not really. Okay, what's going on then? Need a hug? Okay, Force Commander keeps moving forwards. Tarkas keeps grenading. And Waltzul is giving the heavy fire support. I think that was kind of wasted, but that sniper got absolutely deleted from existence. Holy! I think in some ways, Zul <laughs> might be replacing Avatars now. You retreat, you're taking heavy fire. <laughs> Avatars just getting slapped around. You, you slapped around the... Flute the machine thing is. <laughs> uh, what the heck? Yeah, but that's, don't don't take thing. cover it behind it. Blow it up. <laughs> okay, they're bringing out a lot of these. And then again, they seem to be a bit of a staple of theirs. Okay, let's see. Me going basically blind and type 1 diabetes. That's what's... Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh. Okay. So I guess, they did, I guess they weren't able to help uh, too much with the... Uh, what was it called again? Yeah, with the eye thing. Okay, pull back. Probably overextended a bit with the... Uh, cataract, okay. <laughs> no, that's not a ball of worm, that's the meaning of my head. <laughs> Okay. Cataract. Well, you looking for helium? Yeah. Huh. They aren't actually chasing. I would have expected them to. Ch I would have expected them to chase after us. So we'll give that sniper a warm welcome. He has a banshee. Almost gets knocked into a ravine. A uh, fun little fact about Banshees, I be are the Howling Banshees of the uh, Eldar, I believe, is that they may all look female, but they don't actually discriminate uh, between genders with who becomes a Banshee. Like, the armor is primarily female, but it could be a, a male Eldar under that armor anyways. Huh. We did not know that. Oh. I think I heard of it, but was unsure if I was to trust it or not. Mm. Hostile forces spotted. But I have heard people give me mis may mis it was only people that give me an, may a lot of mis misinformation, like uh, telling me that uh, this is about this for uh, the female version of Space Marines. Mm. This is not true. Uh, let's see, pizza. Yeah, I went to get a blood test before the cataract removal operation and found that I got type 1 diabetes. Okay, yeah, just a <laughs> shit Sunday on top of another one. And let's see, oh, so they can be male while looking female, so... <laughs> perhaps in that way, pizza, but the ar they don't have... They don't, they don't use different uh, armor, so yeah, they could be... <laughs> they could look like fanboys underneath, or they could be... Just completely male underneath there. Yeah, and again, since they're all, all yeah, since they're all rather thin, ma male and female Eldar, I guess there's not too much uh, misfitting with the armors. Tool, bring the thunder, and target brings the clap. I think they actually put the nickname Howling Bashes thanks to their helmets, uh, doing that howling sound when they run into battle. Yeah, that's also what you hear in the intro when those two are charging. It's supposed to unnerve tar- and yeah, it's supposed to unnerve opponents. Okay. Uh, 
This makes sense why I... Actually, I don't know if the Imperial gave me the nickname uh, Howling Banshees or... I'm pretty sure that I had actually had some uh, very old Warhammer training card. Well done, Commander. Oh. Do you have their own names for each character unit? But uh, I don't know if the other names that we are more used to, like Gordy and Honey Bash, if that, those are what the Imperium gave them as name or not. Uh, probably the Imperium. Let's see. Ta -ta -ta. Hmm. I see. So if uh, I see a Banshee, it'll either make me horny or it'll be a woman. <laughs> oh, and also, guess what? Just a few hours ago, I completed my 22nd playthrough of Dark Souls. Okay. Just how many playthroughs of that game are you doing? <laughs> I don't know if I should be impressed or concerned. Let's see. Stat fast plating. Each hit taken increases ranged accuracy by 3% for 10 seconds. Okay. It doesn't say about not anything about a cap. 15% range damage and 25% explosive damage resistance. This might actually be <laughs> perfect for uh, yeah, this might actually be perfect for Thule. But it's level 16, so he'll need <laughs> he'll need uh, more levels again. Let's see. Prayers uh, of retribution uh, are engraved across this holy plating, calling on the brother within the dreadnought to seek vengeance on those who would return him <clears throat> would return him to the grave. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Pizza probably a hundred. Yeah, okay. Like um I'm not the type of person to just replay games over and over again. Uh, because I personally feel like that kind of wears away the uh, the magic, so to say, to put it simply, about a game. If you just grind it down to its uh, molecules or such, it's also why I don't really. Well, I, I would probably never do big, like full-on glitch uh, speed runs and such. Because at one point, I, I would definitely more than get sick of most of the games. <laughs> Let's see. Humble supplication and health, energy, and armor rating. Let's you know, let each space marine remember that all were once but mewling babes, defenseless and small in an ancient and terrible galaxy. Each day that we fight as superhuman warriors without peer is a gift from the emperor of mankind, and we are forever in his debt. Yeah, I believe there are a lot of uh, space marines who for who forget that uh, they. <laughs> they could have died just as easily as any guardsman. It... Okay, it... <laughs> that's supposed to be catching uh, achievements, but apparently it's also catching GOG logon messages. <laughs> okay. But yeah, yeah I've, Avatus is definitely, definitely one of those that. that forget. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oath of the Crusader. Suppression resistance and armor rating would be good for Thaddeus, who is a much younger space marine. I shall neither flinch from my duty, though it be though it be terrible, nor seek rest, though I grow weary. I shall never, I shall neither give nor request mercy until this crusade is won. Okay, and then we just have some basic stuff. But we haven't read, the, the, we haven't had a normal one of these. The Stardis Mark V missile launcher, armed with high explosive you know, explosive crack missiles. This weapon is the bane of those feeling safe behind armor plating. Actually, have I read? I th I feel like I've read something similar to that before. A relic bolter, and the standard of Typhon. Health, sight range, damage resistance. Okay, to all the ends nearby, or to character and nearby. The feral population of Typhon has always lived in constant warfare with the orcs. This conflict has long bred able and hardy warriors for the Blood Ravens. Okay. Uh, let's. See. Excellent work, Commander. The communications array is still in our hands. Uh, let's see. Pizza. Oh yeah. I'd no. No, you know, it's a comfort game for me. Plus, I'm still having fun with the challenge. Yeah, that is why I can't fault people who do play games over and over again. Like I. I've probably played Beyond Good Evil through like about a dozen times across my play you know, lifetime, but I put a lot more distance between those playthroughs to keep it uh, fresh, so to say. I know, like, I know most of the big things that are going to happen to practically every time, but there are small little details that uh, will slip away and such. 
Let's, let's work towards this, because it's always useful to have more gear. Avatus. Uh, yeah, you can use... Hmm. Yeah, let's give you that for when you get overwhelmed or anything. Now, does that... Oh yeah, that does a lot more damage, so we can actually trade out or put away the unerring thunderbolts. Uh, hmm. These actually do the same amount of damage as the Lion's Roar, which is a lot lower in level. Plus we have a double, so we can put it away. Uh, yeah, might as well throw that out as well. Now, some of these might actually be pretty good. And yeah, we can't use the standards since it doesn't fit just, on these Terminator armor. I just feel there's something terrifying. Hmm? You remember what be a Space Marine is? Yeah. Isn't that missile launcher basically shooting tank shells? Basically. <laughs> Holy. Let's see. 10 armor rating, 22. Let's give you this one. It's The health and energy aren't really that much compared to the compared to what he already has but having him get more armor is always good and yeah we need to wait until he can equip that armor though uh, he can actually equip this one that's already quite a big boost <laughs> a, definitely a big boost <laughs> Let's, how, how many is that in that plus one that looks more like plus uh, okay is this a glitch or something because it says plus one will but it lights up like it's plus three. Is there something I'm missing here? Uh, oh, the, oh, it's because the, the gun also has plus two to it. Okay, I'll take it. Davian Thule is now a venerable dreadnought and inspires victory in the hearts and minds of his brothers when killing opponents. Inspired allies gain increased movement speed and damage. Okay. Oh, that way it looks a different. Yeah, I think it's... in. I think it's mostly from the armor, but yeah, that is definitely an upgrade, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Actually, might as well just give him two extra bits there. And Thaddeus. Yeah, we haven't used you in a while, but still, let's give you that. And actually, let's... There, max that out. And there we go. Now he can equip thun yeah, thun <laughs> Terminator armor as well. Okay. Now, let's see. Almost to level 15. Let's throw these two out. And yeah, just 10 armor when we have multiple with have 20 plus. Okay. Nothing new for Cyrus. Yeah. Relic Chainsword is basic stuff. Oh, and that gives Tarkus a level. Uh, let's see. While well, using Tarkus Advance to, to inflict additional damage. Okay. Okay, but the damage boost does not get spread to other units. Because uh, if you have this one. Okay, so that's a little bit of balancing. Let's continue going down this lane. And, yeah. Calderis is now clean, but we still have more deployments today, so let's go to the defense over here. Okay. Yeah? The Eldar are closing in on one of our automated foundries, Commander. This appears to be part of a campaign of sabotage directed at the sector's manufacturing facilities. Losing the foundry would compromise our ability to respond quickly to distress signals. We must protect that foundry, Commander. Okay. The Warhost is led by an especially potent Eldar, so that's probably a Warlock. So, Avatus, you get your bolter back. There and 
Yeah, beyond that, I don't think we'll really need much. Ancient power. A dreadnought is undoubtedly a mighty force on the battlefield, but they are difficult to repair in the field without the right tools. And those enemies with missile launchers, they will do far more than disrupt the dreadnought. What would the Eldar want with a foundry? Suffice it to know that they wish it, Avitus. And if we fail to protect the generators powering the foundry, they will have it. Repositioning. How can we I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just a campaign of uh, vengeance because we killed their force here. Okay, they're coming from the west. Gotta be careful with tools so that he doesn't just walk through the walls like the freaking Kool-Aid man in armor. Oh good god, who from red even I just realized. That's a warlock, and that's warp spiders. Uh, there. I just remember something. We really talked about two, two days ago. No. About the uh, uh, sugar free candy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> leaping wizards. Oh, wait. But yeah, I, I actually realized I haven't seen them so in years. Uh, Uh, the real thing I'm about because of this, um, it, it, like, even if you took like three, five pieces of uh, two to three jelly bears, oh, it, it will have a very unpleasant bathroom visit. Yeah. A painful kind. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Spiders. That is one way to make a candy floss. Try to make Definitely, it yeah. Made and it. there goes one wall. But you basically made less healthy in a way. Tarkus, clear out the spiders. The fuckers keep jumping around. They're too fast for the commander to keep track. Oh, you, you go after the seer council. Okay. Now this will be a good little test to see if it's... Okay, it does hit them when they're a bit close, but there is a minimum a minimum rate from which they will work. Okay, get Avatars back up. Come over, I thought it was to, do, to just plow down the entire wall with that machine gun. <laughs> uh, you seem a bit confused. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, next wave is incoming from this way, so... Tarkus, Avatus in there, Force Commander up front, and Thul at the back. Okay, I forget if it's better to aim a little bit before or behind the enemy to get more of them. Since I do think it, yeah, it reaches behind as well and <laughs> just delete their entire line. Okay, so pointing a bit in before where you wanted to actually hose them down works. Okay. So I clicked here, and yeah, it reaches behind a bit as well. Okay, pull back Ooh. you. Okay. Just let them come to us. We have a fortified position. And, well... We can make it rain. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Further back, so they can actually fire as well. Okay, we do want that gone, though. There. Okay, don't move too far away. Try to stay within your allies' firing range. Actually, 
Tarkus, you come out since you're not getting in range with your flamer and such. Ooh. Hey. And Sul is starting to take damage. Okay. Repair that, please. You were just being lazy on the side. Move in, you. Okay, I, I should I should swap uh, I should swap Tarkus back to uh, his bolter when we're facing Eldar. Oh, oh, more this way. Since yeah, he tends to get hosed down himself before he can get in range with the, yeah, the flamer. Yeah, flamer for a better beat against I guess Tyranid. But you expect a lot of melee troops in general. So orcs. <laughs> orcs, Tyranid, howling banshees. <laughs> no, we're not going to run into this cave in here. Well, they are a space ratrace from one planet. I'm sure you condense a Skaven on both of them are very different in some ways from Skaven. Yeah, but I, I saw a video recently that made the theory that the Imperium is the, are the space Skaven. Like, yeah, yeah, I saw the video. I actually watched the video recently, finally. <laughs> and I see what you, you they come from with that uh, statement. Yeah. They're all surprisingly sim similar. <laughs> yeah, like, the Imperiums, well, most of the Imperiums literally live in Hive <laughs> cities. And, well, I believe. Actually, with the Haven, are they called Hives or Lairs more? Uh. I don't know what they call them, but they, wait, they even call them under cities. Okay. And this should be the last one, I think. Nope, nope, one more assault. Okay. Is it coming from this way? Yes, it is. Okay. Avatus at the back. Tool on the side. You in the breach. You in the middle. Not Malcolm in the middle, but Tarkus in the middle. Oh, that was good. Actually, the other day you realized something. No. Uh, I realized this by accident. That the <coughs> Indian can be misread for a Swedish word. Uh, what then? Ilan. And that means... Shell. <laughs> As in like okay. a blue shell. That's a new one. So, basically, have you ever heard the term elf on a shell? Yeah. <laughs> Ilan was Ilan? <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, I feel like we could do all work of this. <laughs> okay, just oh, take this thing now. <laughs> now. I was going to ask the, now what would it rhyme in now, now what would rhyme with it in Swedish? Well, Ilium in Hitler already rhymes, so. <laughs> Okay, there's also a minimum distance from which you can use the uh, the assault barrage. Ooh. Carcass, retreat. Well done, Commander. The foundry remains operational and under our control. Okay, that's one day done. Sword of Purity. Let's see. Killed all of them. Only Avatus went down because he got ambushed by the spiders. Okay. Wait. You can do this faster? Apparently. Okay. Davian got a level. 
So he M? should be able to get Ooh. something else now. Oh wait, they, full east they get. <laughs> the Foundry yeah. is secure now, Commander. We are uncertain why the Eldar wanted the Foundry. Usually they do not care to use our technology. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think they're just out for spite. Hmm. Okay, I thought he had something he could equip at level 15, but maybe it was just one of the other armors. But we've already got better with this. Oh, uh, wait. Brother I, I Gronrick? I, Go ahead. I can see why people, some people maybe do not like this one as much as the other one when it comes to story. For... Here's the thing with Eldar. And the Croft Worlds. They can move. Yeah. But it has happened for them to be attacked by a high man. The high fleet is has happened. But if they lose them in advance, they will move away usually. I guess it means that they are too close to be able to get out, get away from them. Yeah. So hmm. they, they should be able to use the web way for. I don't know the idea if that uh, the. Mm. Show the warp affects the webway. I don't know if it affects the warp, but Endos don't use warp travel. They use webway. Um, would depend on if the entire craft world would fit through that or not. M Helian, many of the craft worlds are permanently inside the webway. Okay. So you 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 see the problem here. Like, mm. I feel like as it, most of the story here is good, but I feel like they hook a little bit many liberties here. Like, it works that they to do some the proper lore check here. To be and, fair, mm. this is a video game. If you can take liberties, <laughs> you'd be screwed. Also, hey, um, <laughs> wrong. <laughs> wrong scale, jump scare. Seriously? <laughs> Did we just in sync again? Maybe. But yeah, how are you doing, Rom? <laughs> Tired and my stomach's screwed. Hey, guess what? I gotta go see a doctor again because I had to get stomach scans. Okay. You, you didn't eat sugar free candy, did you? No, why? <laughs> because we were just talking about that earlier. <laughs> yeah. Can I. Yeah, they cannot stop being, stop being sold here a while ago or push. There were very short fuss here. Many were thought, oh, hell of a candy. Everyone will even eat like five pieces and end up having very painful experience in the bathroom. I've been yeah. there, but no, I haven't eaten any candy, but I am planning on buying Barotrauma. Okay, so we can join in on the madness with that sometimes. At some point. Okay, speaking of, uh, tomorrow won't be a, a possible Barrow Trauma Day with Beanie and the rest, because he has a bi-weekly D&D, or at least tabletop thing. So the, the Barrow Trauma thing is likely to be every other week. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Honestly, in my case, I have to go to the doctor real fucking early so I can give him my test results. And basically, like, okay, what sort of medicine do I need in order to have my liver and my pancreas cleaned up? Okay. Okay, I just hope it goes well for your rum. Yeah, so do I. Mm. On the other hand, okay. I do have an idea that involves... But it involves knives and a lot of drugs, so it's probably not a good idea. Yeah, probably better to leave that to the professional. <laughs> yeah, I am, however, planning on getting... There's a thing on my back, there's this weird lump that's been there for a few years. I don't know why it just grew there, but I got that canned a few months ago. It's uh, it's benign. Okay. But basically, I just want to get that thing taken out of my back because it, it occasionally hurts, but it doesn't hurt, like, a lot. It hurts more like it's nudging into my bones. Okay, so more nuisance to be better rid of than a, yeah, than a yeah, requirement. It's like, yeah, it's not like it's a nuisance that can become an issue, like if it gives you back problems. Yeah, that to be fair, I'm also like perennially slouching, so that probably doesn't help. 
Probably, but so are a lot of people uh, who are gamers. True, I, I kind of stopped true. doing that after I took a walk and done some back exercises, and now I haven't done any back exercises in, in years, but I actually walk st more straight up nowadays. Probably also having <laughs> some comfy chair, because it's actually a recliner. Maybe I should get, maybe I should start doing back exercises, who knows, that'll help. Also, I was thinking, do not give your crew, unless you hate one specific guy, the, um... Uh, the cursed shit. Yeah, we're not in Chaos Rising yet, and we have, well, we have this blighted power armor here, which, well, has negative power, has negative armor, so definitely not using that. They have a suit of armor that is incredibly fucking useless. <laughs> yeah, and all it gives is plus one in all of these, which is very not, <laughs> very much not worth it. Okay. I mean, if it gave plus, like, Firearms, I mean, plus more like at least firearms. I can see somebody using it, but no. Yeah. Like, you can build your force commander to be um, a ranged unit as well. But yeah, I, I mostly just go with him as a melee tank. <clears throat> also, I forgot to read out the uh, descriptions here. You were going to say? No, uh, no, just, uh, I was gonna. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, if it pops into mind, just pop up, uh, uh, <laughs> pop up with it uh, in words. Let's see. Sword of Purity. During the Tartarus campaign, Blood Raven Sergeant Thantius witnessed Imperial Guardsman. Uh, I have no idea how you're supposed to say that. Prius. Prius. Yeah. Display uncommon valor in the face of heresy and death. Thantheus commissioned the creation of this power sword in honor of those who fight with pure hearts to defend their home worlds. Okay. Was it Ocritus Creus? I'm going to show myself now. Is it, is hey. it an O-N-C? Hey. It's a CK. CK, CK. Yeah. Curious? Yeah, let's go. Let's Usually just go that the one of the two is silent. Yeah, I've seen CK before, many times, but never CK as a start of a name or a word. <clears throat> Pardon? Uh, oh, right, I got Pardon? bored, found out a dumb thing. Well, it's more of an interesting thing. I know you have Black Ops too, I don't know if you've completely played it. Uh, I think I've played through Black Ops 2, yeah? You know, there's a gun called the XM81, the XM8A1. XM. Uh, the M8A1. Sorry. Mm, somewhat familiar. Sounds that I think I think the X uh, the XM8 is a gun that's also in some uh, Call of some Duties. Yeah. Maybe Ghost Recon. Uh, it's been in Ghost Recon. Most people probably remember it from. Um... Either the battle, the battlefield series. That's probably where they mostly remember it. And I think it actually shows up in Metal Gear Solid Four. But basically, what I'm randomly just thinking about is that the the version seen in Black Ops Two called the M8A1 with the name M8 and some notice of some changes like actual Picatinny rails is meant seems to imply that. It got accepted by the by the U.S. military in the Black Ops timeline because, like, the X stands for experimental, while the okay. M stands for model, and the A1 stands for very for like a new variation of the weapon. So it's like okay, so like M16 A1 such. Yeah, something like that. Like they made some adjustments to the weapon and stuff like that. Okay. Kind of a weirdly neat detail that also falls under the trope, aka forty-seven. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's some TV it, tropes. This thing there. Yeah. Like because AK, it, AKA, so AK and then another A. I believe the trope is basically well, an, an obvious uh, XP of a gun under a different name. Yeah, pretty much. In some cases, like the developers have fun with it. Like, I think if I remember correctly. Uh, might be from Quantum of... Yeah. Quantum of... On um, the game Quantum of Solace... 
Solace, which is basically just the entirety of Casino Royale and a few levels that take place in Quantum of Solace. Yeah, James Bond. Uh, yeah, basically, every, basically the only two walls are guns are the P99 and the WA2000 sniper rifle are the only ones that keep their names, but every other weapon has been renamed, but as an easter egg to, like, a different Bond movie. Okay, I'm actually going to put these away for a bit. So, uh, oh, no, oh, damn it, not usable with Thunder Hammer and, and Storm Shield. Okay, spoil sports. Okay, uh, let's see. Hmm? Like the 1911 is the CR 1911. Take a guess what that reference is. Uh, the, uh, the local not M4 is the TND 16. Mm -hmm. The AK is literally just the initials of From Russia with Love. <laughs> okay. And I kind of like when it's. And I kind of like that. I don't know why I just like that. It's just uh, developers being silly. Like when they could still could be silly without getting punished for it by corporate. Uh, that reminds uh, me of something, but I'll start on that after reading all of these out. Yuri of Lamartes. Named for the legendary chaplain of the Blood Angels chapter, this armor channels the most uh, the, the mighty warrior's fury. Choose death, alien, lest you face Lamartes. is inscribed along the gorget. Okay. The gorget being basically the uh, toilet lid <laughs> part of the armor, I believe. Like... Uh, this more here. Of the neck armor. Okay. It's supposed Benedict... to protect your throat and such. Okay. It kind of looks more like it needs a helmet, and it you and you straight up look like one of the space marines from StarCraft. Yeah, like <laughs> I'm pretty sure we talked about that last time as well. Like that this that StarCraft very obviously used an extremely similar design to this. Uh, yeah. For Warcraft was originally supposed to be a Warhammer game. But the deal fell through, so they had to repurpose the units, and thus Warcraft were born. And I would not be surprised if something similar happened when they tried to do StarCraft. It's probably, I would not be surprised if it was supposed to be a 40k game, but it also <laughs> fell through, and they had to improvise again, I would guess. Honestly, Could if it be. were a 40k game, then it would have been the Imperium, the Tyranids, and I don't know, maybe the Ta maybe No, 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 not the Tau, the, uh... Where are, they, where are the other aliens? Orcs? No, no, no. Elder not Orcs. Tau. Oh, yep. Not Tau, for Tau was not even a thing then. Yeah, I kind of forgot. I, I haven't played... I haven't played the tabletop. <laughs> I have. Uh, me neither. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> but actually, the thing about it... Uh, they might be... So I have to look it up for... I just remember... There is an emperor in StarCraft. Yeah, Emperor Manx. But no, that's yeah. actually just us like... Okay, he's so... He's an asshole. Yeah, he's not yeah. Emperor of Earth, though. Yeah, he, okay, so here's the... Okay, do you mind if I, like, spoil the backstory of, like, StarCraft? Uh, go ahead. Right. It's a series been so... like for, like, 30 years or so. Okay, so... The, yeah, fair enough. But the gist of it is that... Basically, Earth rounded up all of their undesirables threw them on a ship and just had the ship thrown to space where it landed on the, if I have no idea how to pronounce this, Coprulu sector, which is where uh, the events of StarCraft take place. So basically all of StarCraft is Space Australia. Makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, the first time I heard it, you know, it was years ago when I made the show shit on the Starcraft lore, and I think someone actually made that the Australia yoke. Imperial yeah. Australians. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, somewhere down the line, the humans of the Caprulu sector created a bunch of different factions, and the one in the first game that you start playing for is called, I, I am not kidding, the Confederacy. <laughs> All the way down to using the the Dixie flag, with no real self-awareness or irony as to where the fuck that came from. Yeah. They later on got replaced with, uh, with Manx Empire, I don't remember the name of it, because that got toppled over uh, throughout the events of, like, the first game. 
Yep. And finished off in the second, I believe. Pretty much. Uh, well, not finished off. Like, his son was actually a better person. Does take over to make it a less shitty place, because it's also, like, one of the few remaining working governments. Yeah, and beyond so... that, you have only the, uh, the Zerg, and I'm actually blanking on the third passion's name. Protoss. Protoss. Protoss, yeah. Basically, we have the Space Marines. Basically, we have Earth, who is literally Space Australia mixed with the Space Deep South. Slightly less funny than Borderlands. We have the Zerg, which is just the Xenomorphs. Xenomorphs from Aliens mixed with the Tyranids. And then we have the Protoss, who are your local... Weird aliens. <laughs> Like they, they, they literally, the... they literally they... have no mouths. Pretty much. Yeah, they, they are definitely their own thing compared to the... If you were to, to compare them to Warhammer. Yeah, they, they are, they're their own thing, but in the terms of, like, the tropes, they fit the whole space elf category. Yeah. Yeah. If they were extremely tall... Yeah, if you, if actually, you ran a... An elf and a Draenite through a blender. <laughs> just okay. run them through a blender, go puree, and then just put them on like one of those. You you know those uh those stuff they use for cookies for like shaped cookies. Yeah. You, you put the remains cookie on cutters. that, and then you yeah the cookie cutters. You you put the remains on that, and then you put them to like cook. Boom! You get a, you get Protoss. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yep, you read that one. Benediction of Haste. Though our strength is as great as the mighty bear, the Adeptus Astaris must also fight with the speed and grace of a panther. No foe shall outrun our fury, and no man, beast, or aliens can flee from our wrath. And then, Invincible Crown of Victory, an iron halo, the first one that we found, they work similar, or they are similar to the battle standards, I believe, but they don't give, uh, they don't give rally. They give... And project a force field that uses energy to absorb damage. Okay. Uh, says, yes, the Emperor protects, but I prefer to augment his divine grace with an energy field. Attributed to former Captain Capotius of the Lamenters chapter. Courage that is unknown after being sent on a crusade into the Maelstrom. <laughs> okay, I don't think either the, <laughs> the Emperor's uh, protection or that force field or energy field helped all that much. <laughs> I don't know about the Lamentus, except I don't know a. Mm. There seems to be a meme about Lamentus getting. a lot of bad things happen too. Uh, yeah, I think it's a bit of a joke that they have constantly things to lament about. And we've got some missions with Terminator armor. So let's go get those. Uh, urge. <laughs> You know, part of me is kind of interested in watching One Piece, but then I look at the amount of episodes as like a thousand and plus episodes ago. Commander, there's no way in hell I'm the finishing time that before I'm come dead. To end the orc threat with one crushing blow. <laughs> oh, dear. We have finally located the orc horde's most powerful chieftain, War Boss Bone Smasher, has led his orcs against Imperial holdings across three worlds. The fear he inspires has been driving the orc invasion. Bone Smasher is the ultimate leader of all the orcs you have faced since your arrival in the subsector. He will not rest <laughs> until he has conquered the Sorry sector. about that. And as soon as tight. he remains alive, the orcs will continue to undermine any defenses we deploy against the Tyranids. Bone Smasher must be stopped once and for all. Okay, so we found the war boss, the boss of all bosses amongst the orcs here. Okay. Oh dear. Vulnerable to plasma. So let's swap that out. And let's see. Let's take the rocket launcher just for the vehicles. Okay. Um, there was something I was about to say, but I think I've blanked on it now. Hey. Uh, uh, what's uh, all right? One piece. I'd say give the oh, right, first. Yeah. Um, I'd say give the first 20 episodes or so a shot and just see how it goes from there. 
expect to pick up like an episode or two uh, every week or so. There are some parts where it just absolutely drags. But yeah, at least the first parts of it, I would suggest to give a look. I've I, I watched it before One Piece. Okay, silence. I, I completely <laughs> lost where I was. I know I was above 300 or something. At that point, I felt, you know what? Screw extremely long s series. Yeah. So that time, especially in the wave format, like they did it right up in Caesar's Fruit episode 100, 200, 300. Not a good system. Let's see, I think I got to I somewhere in the six or eight hundred range or something. Oh, but yeah, the, the thing with the, the thing with massive series like that is if if you get distracted or can't watch for a time and you forget where you were, it's going to be an absolute hell just to find where the fuck you were lost. Yeah. Okay, I ended but, uh... up stopped myself on a good number, but no. So only time I started to do good series is when they are, at least in an organized manner, like Star Wars. You have seven seasons. Organized in seasons. Hello, Grom. <laughs> at least when they, yeah, when they organized in seasons, like each season is a certain number, that makes it easier to... Track down where you were. No human yeah. sector is but you go from one to one thousand. Better write notes. Yeah, you could try to keep track of which arc you were last on, but then you'd have to go to the wikis, uh, wikis and such, for uh, yeah, what each arc is called and such. And yeah, it's this map again. I guess I this is also one of the drawbacks that people complain about, that a lot of maps get repeated. Yeah, I can see that. I actually watched Bleach, but the reason I was watching Bleach was, was, was many filler seasons that were side stories away from the main one. And yeah. I just ended up feeling yeah, the old cars are getting a bit too overpowered, and I sort of fall. I just lost interest in it after a while. Yeah, that is one thing I'll give One Piece, though, is that even what seems like filler often actually uh, comes back around in later episodes on big things. Yeah. This is taken in, in that case. I would say some people say One Piece doesn't really have p fillers, they have interconnected side stories that are. Actually, part of in Bleach, the side stories are not connected at all. They're completely separate. Which makes yeah. you wonder why even have them. Yeah, because they need to make it, they have a schedule to keep and well <laughs> the it, it it could be similar to with what we had with Trigun, with the anime of that, that the anime has a tendency to outrun the manga. So they, well, start stuffing in filler. Sometimes filler is actually from the manga and source itself, but often I believe it's more from, uh, yeah, just outspeeding the source material. And this is good. But yeah, just then, yeah. I want to watch longer seasons, preferably if they actually have a confirmed ending. And are organizing neatly seasons that make it easier to find where the heck you were. Yeah. But yeah, best advice I could give on um, trying to watch some One Piece would be to look up on the wiki of how many episodes the first arc is and just check out those episodes. Damn it, the fuck are you doing there? Yeah. I got a video I want to go on. Oh, <laughs> Just a custom... Uh, an extreme gaming setup. Okay. I'm gonna raise Rom's volume for... I cannot hear him over the gunfire. <laughs> Is it... 
I mean, to be fair, Wait, he's, for he's almost there. Now you maxed out. And <laughs> now I'm confused. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I can still hear you clearly. Okay. You Thank some you. something about a video of uh, the ultimate gaming rig or something? No, the ultimate gaming setup. Like if you get a hit or you hit an enemy, something happens, and it kind of looks from a specific angle. It kind of looks like what happens when a person is fighting inside a mech suit and they get and their cockpit gets destroyed. Oh no! Avatus, focus the tank. Oh no! <laughs> That is wrong, now you're giving me ideas. <laughs> okay. Yeah, ideas. It, 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 like simple. Let's say we have Ew. Killian doing a boxing VR game. <laughs> Small chance of that, but still. But uh, every time we get punched somewhere, it is you and me punch him in that area. In real life. Yep. The heck are you? Would that count as immersive boxing? <laughs> I guess. Okay. Oh, Ooh, that's a bunch more than I thought. Uh, you go host down that area. Parkus, deal with that. There we go. Okay. Why are you running out? What the heck the is that? The AI on the Force Commander is just really weird sometimes. So sometimes he'll... Oh, I think what I know what happened. They got hit by a missile and knocked around. So. And they may be su immune to suppression, but they can still be... Well, knocked around. <laughs> okay. Oh, good gods. What the heck? Oh. I have no idea what was said there. No, oh, yeah, and I put up some Easter egg there. Who? Oh. I mistook one of those plants to look like that Snorlax from uh, Star Wars. Yeah, Snorlax? Uh, pretty sure that's not the name of it. Uh, oh, Sarlax. So, yeah, yeah, the big thing uh, in the desert. But there's a plant that looks like it's more, but if you go down a little bit. There it is. Against the rocks. This is our brothers. That? Yeah, and that one just above. That looks like that looks like clams of a sort. Yeah, and they're actually moving. More, yeah, if you go up a bit more, that one specifically tricked me. But a big one there from a certain angle looked like it had three yaws. This uh, made me think of uh, the damn thing. <laughs> and there's the mean meal. Because I'm surprised it's not falling away. Okay, we'll capture this point and then go take on Bone Smasher. Avatus, you have your targets. What? Oh, you broke the windmill? Yeah, superficial damage. <laughs> wait, wait. You've been through the windmill many times. And all this maybe final episode is when you accidentally break it. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> now at least the orcs can joyride it. True for again. Something about orcs and windmill concerns me. <laughs> and now I'd be now I'd be interested what would happen if you'd show an orc a uh, strand beast. But hey, what? You, you what happened if you showed an orc a Gundam? <laughs> yeah, I think they already have uh, those. Uh, <laughs> I think they already get the ideas from the Titans for that. Uh, yeah, oh, they, oh, God. Have, oh God! Oh God! They would all be, they would all be painted fucking char pink and go three times faster, wouldn't they? Uh, <laughs> no, no. No, no, there will be either red or yellow or black. And, oh god, Rob, they actually have giant mix. Just, um... 
Oh, how would you describe the appearance, Hill? Uh, <laughs> if he ran a Gundam through a blender and then tried to reassemble it. Uh, I would say it looks like a walking tower of scrappy death. You're puny, but you got guts. I like that. The beast is there, brothers. Priority target. Drive forward. Uh oh. Enemy grenade. Yep. Ready. Grenade. Okay. Sewell, open fire. Hmm. Okay, this, this typically war bosses are a lot more augmented than this, like they have a, a power claw or such. Depends on what boss. Yo, he's dealing quite a lot of damage against the commander. Okay, focus fire. Yeah, he's actually dealing quite a bit of damage against the Terminator armor. Guess that makes sense since we'll get some, <laughs> we'll get uh, Terminator armor from him. We're not doing much damage to him. Yeah. Come on. Okay. And there comes the boys. And I just had another bad idea. What now? Giving Ron for Christmas one of those machine gun things their dreadnought has. The assault cannon. That would be uh, a bad but also hilarious idea. <laughs> Ow! Tarkus yeah, retreats. If, if you give me a, a heavy cannon, I just. Pointed in a direction and just pulled the trigger until I run out of ammo. <laughs> oh, good God. The question is, how big would your smile be? <laughs> yeah. It's too big and not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. Okay, I, we, we, we should have we should have fit on a lot more plasma weaponry. Okay, yeah, he, he is going through that power, through that Terminator armor like it's just a can of tuna. Fully. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh no, hey, if, if more of that infantry comes, I know what the gun we will use. No, speaking of. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Let's do this! <laughs> Dreaded the old cannon! Okay, yeah. I missed most of them, but still got a good bunch. I think some of them flew into the wall. Get some distance. You know, there's nothing terrifying and satisfying about that weapon. Definitely. <laughs> Okay, finally using this thing that gives temporary immunity. Tarkas, move, move. Would you and we're starting to run out of medicine. Made a... Casino is readying an attack. Clear out. Oh, hi, Steve Blum. <laughs> you know, once Steve Blum stops uh, making voice acting, we actually have a backup. We have Gianni Matagrano. Who? He's a voice actor who's been doing voices lately. He can do a pretty good Steve Blum impression. Okay. Like, right. if you want an example, uh, he actually voices a character in Madness, in the Madness Project Nexus game, and does the whole, I like a woman who can kick my ass bit, but instead <laughs> it's, I like a woman who can kill me. Or, or a slightly more free example he was in the fake four video that Stevie made okay 
Uh, yeah, definitely should have bought more plasma. I should have brought the heavy plasma at the least. Okay, that's the last Everything. of the medicine that we have, and he's only halfway. Holy crap, look at the area! Avian? I've heard of Scorch Earth tactic, but come on! It is a bit much. Do that. Okay, let's just keep chucking grenades at him. Hopefully that'll help. Uh, what are you doing over in the corner, Thule? I was asked you why if you sent him there to heal. Uh, well, there was a band of uh, orc boys. Was. <laughs> Move aside. Oh, right. I just realized I, I, I forgot to use the soundboard here. <laughs> nope. You ah! move back. Actually, you just full on retreats. Are they trying to burn the food? Really? The Davit just got knocked back. Oh. So we'll keep attacking. I don't think flamers are going to do much against the dreadnoughts. Okay. You get back in here. Warboss, warboss, attack you fool! Uh, Okay, not sure who he's aiming for there. Okay, Thule still has that auto uh, repair, the self repair thing that we can do if need be. Yeah, definitely should have gone with the plasma on the uh, Avatus as well. But we are slowly but surely whittling him down. And yeah, he, he is the war boss. He's not supposed to be easy. More! Oh, a target for you, Avatus. Ah! <laughs> yep, and there goes some of his own in with his attack. I'm tempted to use the goofy sound, but I. Uh, <laughs> That's mm, more for falling. Bolt. Somebody made a 3D printed bolter. Oh god, wait, no. I would, I would probably prefer to use the goofy sound if someone gets falling off or getting thrown. It's like, it's based from like... Hang on. Tool, oh. Like, it's a, fire, it's a bolter that does fire, but it seems to more, like... Carcass would fit as well. Nerf. Like, uh, I... like a nerf. Like one of those large mega nerf darts, or something like that. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Are you about that video where someone actually made a life-size bolter? I think. As a nerf gun? Hang on, I'm looking forward. Uh, I was looking at last night, I think, uh, that someone actually made a life-sized bolter as a nerf gun. But when I saw it, I thought, that's... That's more of... not life-sized. Okay, I'm going to look it up then. At least big enough for a regular human to wield it. Yeah, for, maybe it's good size, like uh, the one system the battle uses, but uh, for Space Marine, way too small. Way more a pistol. Okay, Inky is uh, scurrying around in my room again from the looks of it. Uh, Avatus, retreats. <laughs> Just screw that, sing that single one, the guy. Hmm. Dark is here. 
Actually, I think this might actually work. Depending on how far away the, the extras uh, move after they spawn in, fighting Bone Smash in the corner here could be pretty good. Yep. Until he retreats back, there it is. Will is each all give experience? I'm not sure. So, apparently, some way. You are wrong. Sorry. Apparently, Joy Toy figures is making Warhammer figures. Okay. As in, like, place, as in, like, possible figures. Like, you know, like, actual possible figures. How do yeah. they explain it? That was kind of like a complete. Um, articulatable. <laughs> Articulate, yeah. Figures with articulation, that's what I mean. Can it Hasbro make a huge space marine toy? I don't remember. Basically, it's like a large automatic bolter. It comes with a small pistol sized bolter and a holster for it. <laughs> yeah, and there it goes. <laughs> Chuck him around. Do you know what I get? I still like these. Yeah, one at a time. One. Okay, you start, uh, Oh, I, I, I want to say I missed my chance to use the goofy sound. <laughs> Pull back, you. Oh dear. And what we need to see wrong? Uh, I'm looking at like. Hey, they have a collection of, of fucking Sisters of Battle. <laughs> Pull back some. You can get that, she? though, won't you? I would if I had cash, but because of the way the exchange rate works, 54 bucks is like a hundred and something in solid. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. That does sound like rather expensive. Yeah, it is. They're still pretty neat, though. Okay, probably should not have retreated towards the place where the others are coming Ooh. back. But ow, Avatus just gets another migraine. And he almost shoots you with a rocket launcher. Okay, come on. Orcs. Oh my god, I've missed a good bunch. Where the fuck is... Oh, there he is. Okay, that's a lot of them. I really want to know something quickly. Who thought of making, like, one of the parts of, like, the Imperium of Man just look, like, straight out of World War One? Yeah, you mean the Death Krieg? Yep. Or the Death Corp of Krieg? Yep. Well, they are trench warfare masters. Yeah, I guess I'm a Awesome. Oh! 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 Could be his uh, trophy stick. Because orcs have a yeah. habit of sticking skulls on sticks. Oh. Give me a sec. Okay, Ink was clawing at the door. And yeah, that's Bone Smasher done. I, I think he is supposed to be an absolute prick, even if you have a lot of plasma to use against him. Mm. Actually forgot to I click on him to see how much HP he had. Uh, mm. I think they might be... At least the pack figures might be 118 scale. Okay. A few levels Not and new gear. And they got hmm? fucking blood angels, of course. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I need Favorite to look up of... the long videos. Oops, sorry, what? <laughs> Favorite of Baradil. 
This fine power armor is said to incorporate several modifications favored by Dark Angel, uh, Dark Angel's master, Baradil. How the Blood Raven's artificers would know of these techniques and preferences is unclear. Well, because they fucking stole something with them, of course. <laughs> because they're the that? bloody magpies. Oh, like, we just, like, stole it. Like, yeah. a good chunk of our stuff of, like, the library. Yeah, that fucking, that stuff stole like, I'm pretty sure that's from an entirely different chapter. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Now, we have multiple things from uh, other chapters. Let's see. Glaive of Paphonis. This mighty power sword was forged by the Tech Priests of Mars soon after the Cronus campaign. It commemorates the efforts of those blood ravens who secured the ancient technologies on that planet, including the tracking station at Pavonis Starport. Okay. Armaments of Victory. Uh, this this thunder hammer and uh, thunder hammer and storm shield were released from the chapter armories for the first time in the millennia after the blood ravens' defeat of tau forces in the kiwan engagement i think that's the first time we've heard of that in here then the prayer oh. of resilience the emperor guides my hand and my, protects my soul we gird ourselves with faith and duty in his name no alien mutant or heretic can weather our assault we shall not falter nor fail in our determination. We are the last greatest hope for Aurelia. Okay. And our second piece of the Terminator armor, not power armor. <laughs> Crusade Eternal. Level 18 Terminator armor, so we won't be able to use that for a bit. A piece of Captain... Thritos' holy dreadnought was forged into this suit of Terminator armor. As a result, the captain's undying fury manifests in the wearer, allowing them to sustain the most ferocious of attacks. Okay, that's pretty metal. Uh, the Astro Militarum are the uh, fucking. Well done, Commander. Bone Smash's death yeah. leaves the Orc warband broken and in disarray. You originally came to Aurelia to defeat the Orc invasion, Commander. And now you have done so. Angelos out. I will remember this day when the end comes. The end? You are a morbid one, Cyrus. We are the Emperor's angels of death, Thaddeus. Do you think death will overlook us? I... I suppose not. But why focus on the possibility of death? Today is a day of victory! That's the point. Your death is not merely possible, Thaddeus. It is a certainty. Maybe in this war, maybe in another. One day you will die. On that day, the elation of victory will be very far away. So save some of that victorious cheer. Store it away, so you may call on it when that day comes. Okay, that's deep. Yep. Could be the chances of dying in Warhammer are like so high it's not even funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I found the Imperial Guard. Well, to be more specific, they're mostly just. Oh, like, oh, hello. No level requirement, so we can use it immediately. Okay, I overlooked that. Let's actually put it on then. It's so, um, the 55th. Capic Eagles and Cadian Command Veterans. Yeah. That way, we want to put you in Terminator armor as well, if possible. And yeah, if level 20 is the cap, then that is still reachable. Okay. okay. I, I just realized I've been hearing a lot of Australian jokes of late. Hello? Oh. Hmm. Well, there's that alien knife that we about from uh, High on Life, because his home planet was Australia too. <laughs> and I just realized, I hope people jokefully call Katashan Peace Australia. It, it basically is. It's a death world, so literally everything on it wants to kill them. Yeah, and let's not forget, apparently rank... I don't know if it's true, but apparently rank in Katashan is by who? But the one in charge is the one with the biggest knife. I That doesn't surprise me, actually. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but... Oh, good God. Uh, 
the eternal game of knifey spoony. Wait, what? You, you know, that's, you call this joke. a knife, this is a knife. That's a spoon. <laughs> spoon? Wait, what? I'm not familiar with the spoon version. It's that's a family joke. Okay, I thought it was Crocodile Dundee first, but... <laughs> Crocodile Dundee definitely started that joke. That's not Let's a knife. See. This is a knife. Let's go for the other Terminator armor. Might as well uh -oh. collect it. I think with this we'll be facing the uh, the current leader of the Eldar forces. Seeing as we had to kill a war boss to get one set. Let's see, the Wailing Doom. Oh, oh yeah, that that's a freaking avatar of Kane. Oh. Commander, it seems the Eldar have not been driven off after all. The Xenos have summoned their demonic avatar, a towering warrior of flame. The avatar and its war host are destroying everything in their path. If the avatar remains loose, Typhon will soon be nothing but a charred cinder. This will be one of the deadliest opponents you ever face, Commander. But we cannot allow Typhon to be reduced to ash. Destroy the Avatar. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. No. We do have one Imperial God with us, so should we send Romin first? <laughs> Good luck. They get sent in first. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, let's actually like said, we will put these never on, huh? send uh, Rom against a bloody avatar of Cain. <laughs> and yeah, this will also make a good moment to, to show off the Power Fist, or the Terminator Power Fist, the Heavy Flamer, or aka the Meme Flamer, and well, these oh, big fuckers. <laughs> hey, Rocket Pot. You, you, you want that, Rom, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Okay, sadly we don't have plasma weaponry for Thule, but let's see. Uh, do I want to send you in without Terminator armor? Let's see, you get access to sure. power. We will not hmm. put Rome in a dreadnought armor. For he will be permanently stuck in it. Hmm. I don't think Cyrus will be of too much use in this fight. So, who would you say to take with on this? Thaddeus with power, with power and plasma stuff, or Thul just with the big fucking gun? Thul is a big yes. We're definitely gonna need him. But we don't be surprised if they're gonna do what they did with the war boss, just sending uh, extra waves. True. But hmm. I don't know what else. The fool is a must. And, <laughs> and you we, ca we can't put the, yeah, yeah, we can't leave the commander behind, so he's also required. Yeah, I just realized you hmm. gave that armor and all that to yourself. <laughs> Which basically you are wearing a oh good gosh, we are doomed. Let's see. I think I'll keep Avat. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'll keep it with what we have here with Thul, since right. we also want him to get to level sixteen for some of his better armors. Yeah, and him. Just to make it clear. Hmm. Don't eat the flamethrower. <laughs> nah, this one would be a, a meal for multiple days, <laughs> for a week. <laughs> okay. I feel like that that's gonna be a long lost in <laughs> inside joke. Yep. Let's see. Tyranid synapse. Certain Tyranid units, like warriors and zoanthropes, have a spe especially strong connection to the hive mind. Kill these creatures to cause area of effect damage to surrounding Tyranids and units. Uh, with the synapse creature dead, the surviving Gons will no longer leap at you in melee combat and will no longer leap over terrain when trying to get to you. Okay, small differences, but differences are the same. If 
only the Eldar turn their fury against the Hive fleet. Interpreting Eldar motives is a fool's errand, Cyrus. Let us put down this monstrosity and be done with them. Yes, okay. most Eldar would side with Imperium in this case, if given a chance. So I don't know why this Eldar would not. Yeah, I think that I was being spiteful. And yeah, it's this map again, and we're going to try the same route to get to the boss arena. Get it. Too much rain. <laughs> and actually, the raindrop looks huge. Okay, well, this is a jungle planet, so it would be presumed that when it rains, it does actually hose. Yeah, and it kind of <laughs> does look like a... Sorry for saying this wrong. Base South America? Kind of look like the Amazon forest, but you could also argue it might be Space Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, I will not say say that due to the structures. Otherwise, I would agree with you. But due to this stone buildings, they kind of look more like a you know Mayan and Aztec and such. And a... yeah, hence why the South America parts. Mm. Okay, focusing him on melee. Okay, he's actually going for a mixed standard Bendiak. There goes another one off to their planet. Uh. I was a bit late with that one. I'm first of got to use that goofy. Also, just look at the range on these freaking missile launchers. Holy. Yeah. <laughs> you just need to make sure they're able to see what they shoot. Okay. Oh, it... There is a minimum, loop, but it's a lot smaller in comparison to just how far you can go. I thought, I thought you fell into the water to drown. <laughs> Didn't realize you could walk in it. Yeah, we've been on this map at least once or twice before. Oh yeah, actually no, I the other the other time the map was inverted, I think. Is it? Did we have a? Or Guns that shoot bullets as opposed to lasers. Now we have a mix. The main units have mostly plasma stuff, except for the flamer here. But the side characters are still firing uh, bolters. Uh, uh, away, we have no interest in poking them. Did you hear that? Hmm? What? I, I think I just heard the Avatar Kane. Oh good, it's there. Yeah, it should be a lot further in. Yeah, but I heard a... Uh, uh, like a long sigh of something. Apparently my mic did not like me trying to do that sound. <laughs> yeah, it could be one of the many, many Eldar we shot the bits there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh no 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 no! Oh no no! Wrong tone. He sounded big and angry. Okay, I'm guessing these things don't count as vehicles for the plasma, or since it wasn't accurate. Of course, freaking warp spiders again. Bonding of Ultramar. <laughs> And that was a stun grenade that went off. But Ultra. Yep. You got this bomb over the space morphs? Yep. <laughs> okay. Let's actually see how well the assault cannon does against buildings. Uh oh. If the flamer doesn't evict them first. Come on. Yep. <laughs> okay, I think the game was being a bit wonky there because he was shooting into the ground, but you could see still see impacts there. 
Yeah, they also have a bit of a breakdown. <laughs> okay, just keep pushing. We can capture this point as a fallback. Though it would be quite a distance. Hmm. Okay. Tarkus capture. Thaddeus go assist. With tha <laughs> How did I confuse Thaddeus? How did I confuse Thaddeus and Thule? Like, one <laughs> once is a freaking walking coffin. I don't know. I am concerned. Maybe you need a pair of new glasses? Maybe. Okay. Actually, but Take that thing out. Maybe try to give you two eye patches. <laughs> it couldn't make me my gameplay any worse. <laughs> okay. I think we're fully loaded on our equipment. We played Left 4 Dead again, and you're just shooting everything, and I'm like, Stop shooting me in the ass! <laughs> I can see that happen. And now I'm reminded of a new game that released, or is at least in early access for content creators, called Spanky, which is basically a game of a, a game of tag, but oh, instead it's spanking. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, just. <laughs> Octarkus, apparently. Uh, when did Thule get so damaged? I thought he was just at full health. Oh, okay, I'm missing the attacks landing there. Okay, uh, spread out then. Uh, taunts. And he doesn't care about the taunts. I, I don't see who got hit there. <laughs> and they ran out of the way of that. <laughs> A dumb video game idea I came up with thanks to a really shitty game mod. Oh. No. Actually, you know what? I'll do it when we're not being shot at. By the avatar of porn. <laughs> Close enough. Okay, so we'll pull back a bit. Okay, I can't say I can't tell where those those the yeah, stab attacks of his are going. Oh, it, he's retreating the other way. Okay, and that damn it. Okay, Tarkas, <laughs> go repair him. Somebody uh, fix the robot. Okay, we can't. That's not of oh, use to oh, us. Oh, oh, robot. Okay, Tactical somebody fix ready. the. Wait, what are we fixing again? The dreadnoughts. Okay, somebody both of you retreat as well. Somebody. <laughs> so yeah, I, I kind of just remembered. How there's a character in Iron Blood that pretty much gets turned into the Gundam equivalent of a, of a dreadnought. Okay. You mean they take you the move as well? Person and put them into a machine. Yes. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Dreadnoughts was in a life support coffin for a space marine. Okay, this guy's being more difficult than the war boss because. He has a lot more range with his attacks. Okay. Wait, where is he his health bar? Uh, we, we don't have sight on it anymore. <laughs> we didn't have sight. Yeah, that, that attack takes long enough for us to see a reticle on it. But his normal stab attacks, I don't see them pop up. <laughs> um. Yeah. Wait. 
<laughs> okay. I, don't tell me I was the only one who saw that Thule had like three quarters health and it suddenly dropped to one third. That. I didn't see that. I was looking at a different yeah. image. Okay, let's repair you. Uh, Incoming! Tarkus? Um, why yeah. did we bring a flamethrower to fight an avatar of burning, flipping, bloody cane? Since it, otherwise uh, it would have been a, a standard bolt pistol or a storm bolter, I believe. Because why not? Foul witches. Purge them. Okay. Tarkus, come back in. Yeah, I think you're I think this is basically how you're you know, supposed to fight this one. Just retreat and move in again because you can't out DPS this thing. Like it's literally the avatar of a war god. You're not going to you're not going to out damage that. You model faster, you. Okay, Avatus is done. You are done. I'm not sure if. I'm not sure if they would be dealing as much damage if they were outside of power uh, to the commander if they were outside of their terminator armor because if they if this is the amount of damage they can deal while they're in that armor you move you yeah yeah then they would you without your terminator armor okay you are fully healed now i did i didn't think that he would get healed that uh you at points hmm. oh, oh that that also explains things he's level 20 he's max okay now oh, this isn't going to be too interesting with him constantly going back and forth my command is focus fire and start shooting. Okay, too close for the cannon. Avatars retreats. Yep. Who is he going? F okay. Quickly, while it's standing too late. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably have to deal with their ads as well before there's too many of them. A white rocket walker, really? Go back. Hmm. Try going for the race lord first. And, okay, that's. It seems that they are some sort of vehicles since they. It looked like it got stunned there by the power fist, which should stun vehicles. Back to the bathroom. Okay. What? And yeah, Thule is actually getting repaired at the shrine. Huh. That makes sense. Should have some repair tools over there. At least the duct tape. Okay, we are whittling it down slower than the uh, than the orc boss, but still. Uh, Retreat. Keeping an eye on Tarkus. Let's take care of that thing, please. There. Uh, 
have it just pull back for reinforce uh, reinforcements. Yeah, and I, now I, it's I getting think, serious. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the final battle for the evening, and next time we will be the finale. Probably, yeah. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. <laughs> that were the cyclone uh, rockets or missiles. Yeah, cyclone missile. <laughs> that did a whole lot of nothing. Okay, all attack. Okay. Nice. Okay, did I pull Tarkas away too early? Okay. So we'll go pick on the infantry. There's probably a better strategy than doing this, but with how much damage this stupid thing does, uh, yeah, I think it would is just best to keep running back and forth. <laughs> yep, as the force commander gets just bonked down from what, like a third of health. Holy. Avatar's retreats. Okay, melt of that thing. Okay, he was trying unattack there. Okay, you pull back. You keep annoying. Position, brothers. Okay. Here we go again. Yeah, we are slowly but surely getting it down. Hmm. Yeah, the, the problem that we have here is that the plasma seems to be very inaccurate. Like, point and flicking case as Avatar shoots one of her own. Okay. Yeah, we are definitely not getting a good score on this, but... <laughs> yeah. Damien is a bloody avatar of flipping burning cane. Yeah. Oops. Pull back. You pull back as well. Basically, I have to pull them back like the moment they get close to half health so they can risk getting instant killed. Is that going to hit their own? No. And I'm pretty sure I've missed most of them. Oop. Pull away, Thule. Yeah. Well, that was a waste. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and this is on the easiest difficulty. Just picture how this would be at max difficulty and such. They, they'd probably just drop dead from a poke. Yeah, we would be here for another 30 minutes then. Or more. There we go. Damage boosts. Let's get in there. Rising. Clear away from it. Yeah. Now, strike before it can recover. Okay, Damn it. 
Okay, he got taken out by the tank there this time. Oh, oh he actually... <laughs> okay, I think that was one of the cases where he, he could actually pick himself up from one of the perks. Actually, you focus the tank down. Uh, he's going after Avatus. That's going to end up badly for Tarkus. Yep. Okay, you get back in. It's just, just a constant shuffle back and forth. Oh, dear gods. Okay, Thrall. Ooh. Pull back. Tarkas is back in the action. Mm, yeah, we are definitely not finishing this now. Okay, not the most eventful. Uh, session, since basically we're just uh, finishing up, we're basically spending time to pass uh, the, the two required days. Okay. No, move away, move away. He moved away. Okay. Avatus, pull back. Uh, wait, wait, where's yeah. Fool? Fool is on the way. Tarkas, back. Actually, call in the airstrike. Yep. And he's down again. Of course he is. <laughs> of course Avatus has to kick him while there's down. Okay. Well, he's busy with that attack. Okay. He's Actually. His units there. Yep. Move back. So we'll stop dancing in the spots. Yeah. Thanks, Avatus. You shot. You shot Tarkus twice. Oh bloody heck! Yeah, we. I'm thinking we're going to get just one in each on the score with this. Okay, move it forward, you friendly firing fuck. Is he? If you somehow get Max in everything in all this, I will be surprised. Stay away from that. Okay, just a little bit more. Hmm. I, I thought the I thought the plasma launcher would be accurate against this thing, but apparently not. It counts as a demon, not a vehicle. I think yes, somebody else got him. Okay. It's a good thing that Thule gets repaired at the shrine, Luke. Nope. Let this be the last we see of the damnable Eldar. Yeah, it, it's a good thing Thule got repairs there, otherwise we would have run out of uh, res revives for him long ago. Okay, yeah, I, I definitely should have tried these at max level, but still managed. <laughs> okay. I expected these two. 
bit more generous here. But that should be both of the days done. So next time we should be on the yeah on the finale. And Thule gets a level. And okay. the new armor. Let's see. Barding of Ultramar. Plus one stamina, 64% suppression resistance, and a little bit of health. After the Battle of Tarsus Ultra, High Fleet Leviathan continued to rampage onwards, tendrils reaching into star systems far beyond. Ultramarines later fighting a desperate last stand against the hordes were astounded to see a Blood Raven strike cruiser <clears throat> enter orbit and deploy drop pods. Caught between two forces, the alien beasts were defeated. This suit of power armor was gifted to the Blood Ravens with blessings and litanies of holy fury against the Tyranids. Uh, I think gifted can probably be put between quotation marks. Gift in the sense that well, they have it now. We don't know really how they have it, but they have it now. <laughs> Let's see. Armor of Azarai. Okay, no level requirements. Two stamina. Uh, let's see. Chapter records indicate that this armor was lost sometime after the terrible Gothic campaign, having once been worn by legendary Blood Ravens chapter master Azariah Vija. Its rediscovery in subsector Aurelia is, a, is regarded by uh, chapter librarians as a blessing from the Great Father himself. Okay. A legendary victory, Commander. Few could have brought this monstrosity down and lived to tell the tale. It still seems madness that the Eldar would strike at us in the midst of this infestation. From what we can gather, the Eldar's plan was to have the Avatars reduce Typhon to ashes, leaving nothing for the Tyranids to feed upon. Agreed. But the Eldar have a deeper purpose in the Sector. They would not have sacrificed so much just to give the Tyranids one less world to feed on. Commander... Gabriel... Cyrus is right. Eldar are not... fools. I fear you may be right, Davian. The Eldar may continue to be a thorn I'll, in our side. I'll see you guys later. I'm tired, over. and I just call in but food. But we cannot take our focus away from the tyranny It's gonna be a long day. Our very later. survival depends on stopping them. The safe Angelo's problem? Angelo's out. Yeah, it's be safe too. Okay. Now, let's see... Hmm. I think I'll finish going in this lane for a bit. And yeah, Thule, let's keep working towards this, the Hail of Fury, which upgrades the Assault Cannon's Barrage. And he can now have this. Uh, yeah, that's just playing better. It does remove the Venerated status. So actually, let's... One there, one there, and yes, it is the it's the perk that causes all of this to pop up. <laughs> okay, confirmation. All right, and yeah, we have one more deployment on this day, so on day nineteen we should be heading into the finale. But for now, let's go over here, and yeah, just a minute and a half early. Okay. <laughs> You save the exit, right? Yes, it's always save. Oh, okay, okay. Phew. Yeah, level 17, orbiting Typhon Primaries. Okay. And yeah, that means that next week we should be finishing up with this game and starting with Chaos Rising. Which, well, we can guess who the main antagonists in that are going to be. I've been having, wanna, been wanting to make a joke with this one for a while now. Who? No. Behold! Hillian in Amsterdam looking for beans! <laughs> okay. Now, let's exit and hand it over here. Now, before I forget, uh, I, am, <clears throat> I am making preparations for the next series of games that we'll be streaming after we're done with Dawn of War. Which is going to be some of the Sonic games, not all of them, because then we'd be going for years, probably. But at the very least, we'll have the uh, Adventure Trilogy, as it could be called. Basically, Sonic Adventure DX, Adventure 2, and Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes isn't available online, though, so I'll have to try and get my physical copy working. Or uh, otherwise raise another, black fl another flag 
and uh, well, go looking around in those areas of the internet scene. <clears throat> but yeah, let me think. Let's get to the browser. That's the timer going off. No. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Twitch, change the screen share there and there. Now, let's see who are online. We have Frank Pro, who is streaming Sonic Superstars, which is the most recent Sonic game, actually. And I've, the, hmm, the reviews I've seen of it so far on Steam are mixed. Apparently, it wants you to make an epic game, uh, an epic game store account uh, whenever you open it, even when it's on Wally's well, Steam, and it also has DRM. And well, you'd think the freaking industry would have known by now that DRM is basically useless. And yeah, I think yesterday or the day before, maybe even, was also the release for the newest Mario game, which I'll, I'll be picking up in the stores probably tomorrow or so. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, Hime <clears throat> Himesama Shiro is online <laughs> with Resident Evil 6. Like, <laughs> all the freaking times I was looking around for when they would you know, be online to give them a look, and now they're just online <laughs> right after. <laughs> Wait, that's it. Oh, good God, that's a horrible pun. What? Read it out. It's a stream to make your Lady D into Lady DD. Double D. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I'm guessing we'll probably rate them, but just to give everyone else a chance. Uh, I'm Nice is playing Animal Crossing again, New Horizons. Codename to Ferrets is playing War Thunder. Jimmy McGinger with Alan Wake. I'm a Flanker with Crusader Kings 3. Graham the Wolf is playing VR Chat. Smoops on the Nonsense is playing Guild Wars 2. And last but not least, we have Halloween with Lords of the Fallen. Oh dear. Well, I will say him. Sounds okay. it, it, it spooked Tuber. Yeah. So it fits. And I think Resident Evil 6 is actually the least liked in a while, but let's go give them a look anyways. Yeah, I just realized there is no Lady D in this one. Let's see. Let's print. <clears throat> Does that count as uh, click 8? Yeah, I think there's making a joke with it, but anyways. Uh, before we start the raid, though, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza Lover. Thank you, uh, Mega, uh, Megumi146. And thank you, Pyro Sue, for lurking. And thank you, as always, Drakir. You welcome as always, my friend. I thank you all for joining. And yeah, in the weekends, we will have our spooky side games with Dark Side Detective. And we'll get started on Whispering Willows and see how that game goes. Good oh dear. <laughs> And maybe some L.A. Noir if things go well with uh, Rom. But we'll just have to see. Otherwise, just double off the detective and the willows. Only that damn, <clears throat> damn close to finish the detective game? It should be, yeah. And we'll have to pick which of the games we'll pick up after it. I, I don't want to jump to the sequel, which I have bought now. Uh, we can keep that for next year. But yeah, we'll just have to see which of the other games I have prepared. I'm leaning towards Deadbolt, because that's a really fun game. But you'll get the way in as well, of course. Of course. Mm. Yeah. The throat's starting to act up. Anyways, now, let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you again for watching now or later. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls and bloody tyrannids. <laughs>